Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to install Airflow using Docker. Apache Airflow is an open source workflow orchestration platform. It allows us to design, schedule and monitor workflows in a variety of structured way. First, it lets us build workflow programmatically as direct acyclic graph or DAG using Python. Next, Airflow can automate execution of these workflows at a specific time or based on an event. It also provides features to track, retry and debug tasks with visibility through logs and user-friendly web interface. Finally, it helps to streamline data engineering, ETL, ELT and machine learning pipelines, making them reliable and scalable. One of the prerequisites is you need Docker desktop installed in your device. Here is my Docker desktop. Let me first verify if Docker is installed. For that, I am going to Visual Studio Code and I am going to type Docker version. Docker is already installed. Now let me check if Docker Compose is installed. The Docker Compose is also installed. Let me create a working directory for our Airflow project. In order to do that, I have created a folder, Airflow Tutorial Inside Documents. And in my Visual Studio Code, I am into this particular directory. Let me check. I am into the Airflow Tutorial folder inside Visual Studio Terminal. Inside this folder, I have a file called Docker Compost. I have opened this file in Visual Studio Code. Let me explain the Docker Compose file. The services defines the containers that you wanted to run. We are going to have Postgres as our database, that is our metadata database. The next service is Airflow init. This is for our one time setup. The next service is for the web server. This is for the Airflow UI. And the next service is for the scheduler. This is mainly for the task scheduling. Let me explain the Postgres service. We are using the Postgres 13 image and we are creating a database as Airflow with a username and password is also Airflow. This stores the data in persistent volume PG data. We have mentioned the volume details at the end here. So that data isn't lost when the container is restarted. And then we have also ordered some health check. The health check is to make sure the database is ready before Airflow connects. The role of the Postgres database is to provide metadata database for Airflow. The next service is the Airflow init. This runs only once to initialize the Airflow database. We are creating an admin user with credentials. The username as admin and here is our password. And we are using this environment variable to connect to the Postgres database. And we are also creating a couple of folders in our container. The first folder is for the DAX and the second folder is for the logs. The Airflow init service is for the one time setup before starting Airflow. The next service is the web service. You can use the Airflow UI using the local host 8080. The web service depends on Airflow init service. The role of the web service is to provide Airflow UI for managing DAX and tasks. The next service is the scheduler service. The Airflow scheduler decides when the tasks should run. It depends on the web server. The scheduler shares the DAG and the logs with the web server. The role of the scheduler is that it is the brain of Airflow. It continuously monitors the DAG and schedule tasks. And at the end, we have defined the, the Docker volume. Our Docker volume name is PG data. We have also created a .env file. In this file, we provide the Airflow image name and the user ID, which is 50,000. This is the default user ID recommended by the Airflow team. We are passing this Airflow image name 
as a parameter to our docker compose file in this section we have provided the image name i hope you got a fair idea of the docker compose.yaml file now that our docker compose yaml file and dot env file is ready it's time to start the airflow in order to start the airflow in the terminal just run docker compose up hyphen d d flag means to run in detached mode so that the container will start in the background and free up the terminal let's run this command It will take a while. Let me also open the Docker desktop. This command will start the Postgres database. This will initialize Airflow with the Airflow init service and it will launch the web service on port 8080. We see the container got created. Inside this, we see four services, Postgres, Airflow init, Web services and Scheduler. Now let's go to the browser and type localhost 8080. Our username is admin and let me type the password. Here is the Airflow UI. On the top, you have the section DAG, Cluster Activity, Database, Security, Browser, Admin, Docs. In the DAGs, you will find all the workflows available. Currently, there is no workflow. We will see in detail on the Airflow UI in the upcoming videos. Once we are done with the Airflow, you can stop the container. In order to stop, we can go to the terminal and type Docker Compose down. This will stop all the services. We have stopped running the containers from the Docker Compose YAML. Let me go to the Docker desktop. We have stopped running all the containers. We have successfully installed Apache Airflow using Docker. I hope you like this video and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting video. Thank you.